Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today, I want to talk to you guys about the value of carrying a multi-tool. So one of the biggest comments that I'll hear on a video for multi-tools, and this ranges from the very small and very capable, nonetheless, uh, all the way up to the very large, like the Leatherman Surge here. Uh, uh, the number one comment that I'll get is that multi-tools are not replacements for dedicated tools. Now, you'll never hear me disagree with that. That's absolutely true as someone who owns a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of dedicated tools, uh, ranging everything from welders down to screwdrivers and everything you can imagine in between. Uh, I completely agree with the fact that multi-tools are not replacements for actual tools. However, that does not mean that I do not tr strongly believe in carrying a multi-tool. And I want to explain to you uh, a little bit of why I feel that way and why I think maybe the people that are saying that are just carrying the wrong multi-tool. So I have a selection of Leatherman tools and a couple of Victorinox tools, two of my favorite brands. Now that doesn't mean that uh, these are the ones that I strongly advocate for carrying nonetheless because there's a lot of good multi-tools out there. It's just I don't have space on the table in order to shoot these all in one shot. So there's quite literally probably a couple hundred different multi-tools out there and it's finding the right one and the right fit for you uh, that will make a multi-tool valuable to you. So if you've watched this channel, you no doubt know that I carry the Leatherman Surge as my EDC. Now the reason I carry the Leatherman Surge, which is going to be very, very large and very bulky for a lot of people is because I work in the blue collar world and I find that everything that in, within this particular multi-tool works well for me out in the field uh, to keep me from having to go back and forth to the toolbox or to the tool trailer. So with these tools, you get the knife blades, you get the outside scissors, uh, you get a dedicated serrated blade, which I use quite a bit because I work with a lot of rope and being able to cut rope or man-made materials is something that I really like. With the surge, you also get the, uh, you can switch between the diamond file and the saw blade. Of course, with the T-shank adapter, you can add multiple accessories to that to outfit for your particular needs. On the inside, you have a, a multitude of different screwdrivers as well as an awl. On the other side, you have your can opener, bottle cap lifter, wire stripper in there, which is also very valuable to me, and your uh, bit exchanger, which allows you to carry a lot of different bits with you. And you can also accessorize that with some extensions, including rack, ratchet extension, uh, in order to get into a 3D or full dimensional uh, driver. And I find those to be incredibly valuable. Uh, aside from that, you get the pliers, needle nose pliers, replacement wire cutters and hard wire cutters as well as uh, stranded wire cutters on the back and a wire crimper. Now this particular tool, while it saves me a uh, a lot of time on a job site because as an example, let's say I need to open up a control panel. Now a lot of times on those control panels I use very large slotted drivers. So I don't have to go all the way back to the toolbox or walk however far it is uh, because I always have this on my person. So I can just flip this out very quickly get into an electrical control panel uh, that I do. It's a function that, or, or a, uh, something, a, a task that I do quite often. Aside from that, uh, the drivers themselves, the screwdriver, I find very valuable. And while the bits that come with it or that you can accessorize on a Leatherman are not necessarily the greatest bits, for most general tasks, they do the job quite well and prevent me or, or uh, I should word that a little differently. They they are valuable to me because, again, I don't have to make those multiple trips back and forth to a toolbox or tool trailer in my case. Now, with those, uh, the Leatherman Surge obviously is going to be a lot larger multi-tool. A lot of people kind of gravitate towards the Leatherman Wave, which is almost as capable. One of the things I like about the Wave and Charge uh, series of tools is that they come with a much finer needle nose point. And while they don't have the T-shank adapter, they do have dedicated uh, file, uh, di including diamond file and saw blade that come with them as well as the other two knife blades. And the interior tools are pretty much on par. The one that it doesn't have is going to be the all with this tool. So if that's something that's important to you, uh, you know, looking for the right tool with the right set of, of tools within that multi-tool, it you really got to find something that fits your needs. And it's kind of a unicorn trying to find the 
ultimate multi-tool, if you will. Then you can get into tools like the Leatherman Free P4, which their kind of calling card is that they are a lot easier to operate. Uh, technically speaking, you can open them one-handed. I found that it's not the necessarily the easiest thing to open all these tools one-handed, but it does come with a variety of very useful tools. Another popular one, uh, and so let me just stop here real quick. So these tools here, uh, and including some of the other lines and other brands that you can get are going to be very all-inclusive or very capable multi-tools, more of your toolbox approach. And while they range in size from weights and different types of tools, different combinations of tools, they are more so for the person who's working either like me in the blue collar world or you're more of a tinkerer. But let's say you work in more of an office environment. Well, I definitely would not advocate for carrying a Leatherman Surge in an office environment. Let's say you're an accountant. I think that's completely overboard and it's something that you're not going to use often enough. And because of the fact that you won't use it often enough, you're going to tend to not carry it. Well, no multi-tool is worth its salt if you're not, if you don't have it on your person. So there are a lot of smaller options for the white collar world too. Now that doesn't mean that there isn't white collar uh, individuals that carry larger multi-tools like this. I'm just saying that more often than not, they're going to be uh, looking towards something a little classier or a little more compact, something that's more easily hidden. It's not necessarily something that you have to carry on your belt. So in that case, I enjoy a wide variety of Victorinox knives. I also really like the Skeletool CX. The Skeletool CX offers some very limited tools, but they're very good and very well integrated. One of the first things uh, is that it's going to carry Leatherman's uh, a little higher quality steel. So the 154CM steel that comes on here, a little bit harder steel. It's going to last uh, between sharpenings quite a bit longer than what you're going to get in a 420HC. And this one also comes with dedicated driver. So you open this one up and it has the, the uh, bit exchanger here so you can switch between screwdrivers. The great benefit to this one also is that it comes included with an extra bit. So you can have a wide variety of drivers. So in here you have four different screwdrivers on your person as well as a bottle cap lifter uh, it also doubles as a carabiner and then you get a needle set of needle nose pliers which includes the, obviously the needle nose regular pliers and some wire cutting capability this is a very nice compact tool it also is a little bit more stylish than what you're going to get with some of the other multi-tool brands or multi-tool from leatherman anyway in their lineup then we have one which is very popular because it's more of a pocket multi-tool. It obviously is not going to be as capable as something like the Leatherman Wave Plus or the Leatherman Surge, but it is going to offer a lot of functionality. And now, unfortunately, this one is discontinued, and I'm hoping that Leatherman will fill this void into this smaller line of multi-tool, where the Leatherman Wave Plus is a four inch multi-tool the leatherman juice line was a three and a half inch multi-tool and so it is a lot lighter a lot less bulky but still offers quite a bit of functionality so with this you'll get your knife blade on the opposite side you'll get your can opener and th the reason people like the s2 a lot is because it comes integrated with scissors now on the inside of these tools there are the needle nose much like you get with the skeletal cx there uh, as well as some dedicated drivers that come along with this. Now, with this particular multi-tool, because it is a smaller frame, they're going to be smaller and more compact types of drivers. So this, the reason why the S2 was a very popular option, because it really works well in the white collar world. Now you get down into some of the smaller multi-tools like the Micra. The Micra has been around, I think this is probably the longest running multi-tool in Leatherman's lineup. And it is extremely useful. The fact that it, it has comes with dedicated scissors and it, it, this one is kind of geared more towards personal care, though it does offer a little bit of functionality to get into stuff like you can use a screwdriver to get into like electronic battery cases, stuff of that nature. Uh, it does have a bottle cap lifter, which is not the greatest on a tool like this, but it does offer that functionality. Fingernail cleaner, fingernail file, small knife blade, which is chisel ground, and a couple of drivers. So this tool 
is extremely easy to carry. Uh, this is what they consider a keychain type of multi-tool. And while it's very compact and very small, it does offer quite a bit of functionality and can be very useful, especially because of the fact that it carries or has scissors. So that is something that I really like about this particular multi-tool. Then you get into something like the Style CX, uh, CS, I'm sorry, which also kind of runs along the, the same design cues as a Skeletal series of tools. This one has a little a bit different functionality though because it's a much smaller tool it's going to be scissor based which is another reason why i like this one this one's going to come with dedicated uh a pull out tweezers which are always handy to have you have a nail file as well as this operates both as a little flat driver and as a kind of a, a one-dimensional or single dimensional Phillips, as well as a chisel ground blade that comes with this as well. It also includes the same carabiner style that functions as a bottle cap lifter as well. And again, these are very easy to carry. So if you are leaning more towards uh, the, if you work in a, in a white collar world, then something along the smaller lines of multi-tools might be more beneficial to you as opposed to carrying something larger. Then you can get into something like with dedicated knives, Leatherman has a few. They have their, uh, this is the K4. They have the K4 and the K2 as well as the KX4, KX2, where they come with a very nice knife blade. While it's not going to be uh, what you would consider a very high-end steel. It is a very nice uh, utility blade that uh, is very, very valuable. And it comes with uh, scissors, a couple of different drivers. Uh, you have bottle cap lifting capability on this one as well, as well as a package opener, which might work well in more of a white-collar world as well. It also works well in the blue-collar world um, <clears throat> if you receive a lot of packages. So, Something like this is not quite as compact as what you're going to get with something like the S2, uh, but it offers a lot of functionality. And if the main concern for you or the main uh, tool that you'll use on something like this is a knife blade, then this, this the K-series of tools might be the way to go. Then you have... Uh, Along the lines of the Free Series, this is the Free P4. This is their T Series, which does is a non-plier base, but it kind of acts like the K Series of tools, wherein you'll have knife blade. Though these are a little bit tougher for me because I have larger hands, a little tougher for me to open one-handed. Uh, you have uh, file, uh, driver, package opener, integrated tweezers in this one as well. On the opposite side, you have scissors and a couple of other drivers, including a Phillips driver and bottle cap lifting capabilities. So this is a very nice compact tool, though I, it's a little, it's still a little on the thick side for a lot of people. Now, the line of tools that I really like is if, especially if you are not in a blue collar environment, is a really nice Victorinox knife. Now, Victorinox knives, so these are a couple of my favorites. So this is the Electrician. This is the Tinker Deluxe. Or excuse me. I'm sorry. This is a Super Tinker. And then you have the Pioneer X. The Pioneer X is a very popular one. And we've done videos on this that this all, uh, this reamer, is, it works for kind of a multifunction because this is excellent at opening up, opening up clamshell packaging uh, as well because of the very sharp point on this. It's just a fantastic uh, multi-tool or multi-knife to carry with you. Also comes with dedicated blade. Then with this one, uh, this one comes with scissors, which I forget the nail nick is on the opposite side with this one. And Victorinox scissors are some of the absolute best out there. They are a fantastic pair of scissors. This one also comes with a couple different drivers to go along with it. Uh, so you get bottle cap lifter, can opener, uh, small Phillips, and larger or excuse me, small flat driver and large flat driver. Now, unfortunately, this one does not have a Phillips driver, though I think that they say the angle, uh, not in this particular one. Uh, if you get into the compact, I think this one also can be turned sideways and works as a two-dimensional Phillips as well. But again, very lightweight, very compact, and very, very useful. You get into tools like the the uh, Super Tinker, where they're going to come with a few more tools. This one does have a dedicated um, Phillips driver. And with the Victorinox scale tools, you can get uh, regular scale tools, or you can also get their, their uh, scale plus tools, which come with a couple extra features, including a ballpoint pen. Um, and you can get it where, it, well, this one too, you can add a straight pen to it as well, and a toothpick. Now, 
the great thing about those is they're easily replaceable, and they're for the most part they're they're sealed up, so they're really not uh, uh, you know getting dirty and stuff like that. So they can be washed, reused, sanitized. Uh, I really like the Super Tinker. It has a lot of different functionality. Another function that it has that you're not going to find on all Victorinox tools is the little hook. Uh, the utility hook comes in quite handy for a variety of different tasks. And then with the electrician, the electrician is more of a simplified knife. It does not come with uh, a pair of scissors, but it, again, it does have the really fantastic awl. This is something with their uh, with this series of, of uh, Victorinox tools, the... Uh, Alox versions, they're going to come with this all, or for the most part, they come with this all, which I find extremely useful for using in a variety of different ways. Uh, this one is also going to have a specialized blade. It's how it gets its name. This is the electrician's blade where it comes with a little draw cut blade as well as a sheath cutter. So cutting around the sheathing on electrical cordage or cable. Uh, which is another reason why I like this one quite a bit. It also has the bottle cap lifter, or uh, yes, bottle cap lifter and the large screwdriver as well. Now you notice this one, and you'll find this with a lot of Victorinox knives, that it will lock into the 90 degree position for this particular driver so that you can get more torque on it. It also comes with a small wire stripper as well. So the, my point here is that no, a, uh, a, a multi-tool is not going to take the place of your dedicated tools but it's finding the right mixture of what works for you or what you require on a daily or a weekly basis that if you carry the right multi-tool one that's geared towards you you will find it incredibly invaluable saves you time from having to go digging through drawers for a tool whether that be a screwdriver or a pair of scissors uh, or just a knife blade uh, Something like the Leatherman Surge is obviously, in my world, is going to be the most capable multi-tool pretty much uh, that exists at this moment. There are a couple of Victorinox uh, multi-tools that kind of rival this one, uh, but for my personal taste, the Leatherman Surge is what I consider the king of the multi-tools. Uh, it is by far the most capable, and because I'm working in a blue-collar environment, I don't, I neither mind the weight nor do I mind the bulk uh of this particular multi-tool. But again, if you're working in a different kind of environment, uh, you just got to find the multi-tool that is more suited to your occupation or to, uh, you know, your everyday task. And I think that if more people would find the multi-tool that really is geared towards them, they'll find the extreme value of carrying a different multi-tool. Now, again, this is nowhere near the lineup of multi-tools or, the, or the, uh, the options that you have out there for multi-tools. There are a plethora of different designs and manufacturers out there, but two of the most popular or two of my favorite are going to be from Leatherman or from Victorinox because I find them to be extremely useful, extremely well put together, extremely compact, basically the most bang for buck, if you will. Now, there are other tools that you can carry. I am a big advocate for carrying Knipix tools. If you are in a blue collar environment, uh, the Cobra pliers that you can get from Knipix or the uh, plier wrenches, which I use. And my personal favorite, and I got this almost a year ago now, maybe exactly a year, is the Exceed Designs Tyrant V uh, Razor V2. And I can tell you that without doubt, this has been the, the most uh, useful utility blade or utility uh, blade holder that I've ever had the pleasure of using. It's easy to use, it's slim, it's compact, and oftentimes I even forget I have it in my pocket because it's so lightweight and so slim in design. It's just one of those tools that is really fantastic to carry. It it's pricey, but for a person like me, it's absolutely 100% worth it. So I see the value in a multi-tool because I use tools constantly. Now, if I worked in an office environment, I may lean more towards the idea that no, a, a multi-tool does not replace your dedicated tools. That's, that's absolutely true. You're never going to hear me uh, say anything different. But the amount of small functionality that you're able to get out of the right multi-tool that is suited to your needs 
I think you'll find incredibly valuable. And that is why I so highly advocate for carrying the correct or the right multi-tool for you. My name is Ben. You've been watching the Texas Tool Crib. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next one.